All right, welcome to another episode of the Matt Report brought to you by our friends at Cobos Insurance Center. I'm Sean Bennett from the Chronicle Telegram, joined by our best friend from the Cobos Insurance Center, uh, Bob Cobos. Uh, Hello, everybody. How are you? All right. Well, um, thanks for coming on. Um, obviously, um, you know, great uh, uh, friend to wrestling in Lorain County. Uh, Bob uh, is one of the, the guys who kind of got us kick-started on expanding our coverage years ago uh, to that uh, huge uh, preseason preview we do, the uh, radio show we do on Thursday nights, the Matt Report here. Uh, I think even for the Cobus Insurance Classic Cobus Insurance this year, Classic, we yes. added some stuff. We yes. did some, um, some video interviews. We did some live radio. It was a lot of fun. I absolutely love it. I would tell you, you guys do a wonderful job. Sean, kudos to you, baby. You do it right. And I, I will tell you, the Chronicle is the best on sports. Um, I, I like to read a lot of variety of papers, a variety of, and just for the sports and the editorials. And I will tell you, the Chronicle is the best. Thank you. Well, I absolutely. appreciate that. that that's we, the truth. We, we, we that try. Is, that's true. That's why I said, when I initially were, was thinking about it, I said, well, they do such a good job on covering the wrestling and basketball and all those other sports and football. Why don't they do, you know, a, a something on video for wrestling and spotlight the kids and, you know, well, it's, I think it's great. Yeah, I appreciate it because I do. Uh, wrestling is definitely a sport I'm passionate about, and I love uh, putting in all the uh, information of the time. So it's good stuff. Yeah. All right. Well, you've seen the show. Uh, we start out every week with our top three performances from the previous okay. week. Uh, all right. This week we obviously had the uh, regional. Uh, dual team tournaments all over the state and we had a lot of teams in action. Um, the one who stood out like normal, uh, Illyria, went out to Oregon Clay, won their sixth straight regional dual team championship. They'll be heading down to the state duels for the sixth time obviously um, next weekend, St. John Arena uh, in Columbus. Uh, and uh, a couple of our top performances come right out of Illyria. We're going to start with Bryce Allison. Bryce went 2-1 uh, at 120 pounds in the Division I uh, uh, tournament out there at Oregon Clay, uh, helping the, obviously, Pioneers win that title. Uh, he went. He started out with a 10-2 major decision against Bowling Green's Cameron Dieter, who is ranked number 13 in the state. Then he won 4-2 over Ashland's Case George, who is ranked number 20 in the uh, state. In the final against Oregon Clay, he lost 7-5 in sudden victory overtime to Oregon Clay's Jacob Moon, who's ranked number 15 in the nation. We're talking about a, a, a powerhouse in Jacob Moon. One of these, he's he's uh, expected to win uh, uh, the state championship this year, and Bryce Allison took him right to the uh, right to the uh, extreme there. Well, Elyria is loaded. I, 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 I was, before we even started, I told you, Eric Burnett has done a fantastic job. Not only is he a good person, he's a great coach. Yeah. And it's obvious, anytime you see his teams, they're disciplined, they bring it to the mat. And now they're gonna go to Southwest Conference, watch out, baby. <laughs> That's awesome. Yes. I'm kind of excited because it's less traveling for, for me, too. Yes. I don't have to head out to Euclid for the uh, conference tournament every year. It's going to be a lot less uh, uh, mileage on the car for me. So. It's going to be interesting. Let's yes. put it that way. Yes. Um, next up, from Elyria again, JoJo Norwood, freshman. Uh, went 3-0 at 170 pounds in the uh, tournament uh, this weekend. Opened with an 11-1 major decision over Bowling Green's Devin Savage-Brown, who is ranked number 28 in the state. Then won a 16-1 technical fall over Ashland's Lane Port. Order, then ground out a 5-3 to three sudden victory overtime over Oregon Clay's Tyler Wiesman, who is ranked number 28 at 160 pounds in the state. Um, obviously, bonus points there for the team. Freshman at an upper weight, that's always a difficult thing for, you know, first year in high school. He's, he's wrestling kids that are, you know, three, four years older than him, have a lot more experience, a lot of uh, muscle. Uh, a lot of those guys are cutting down to 170 pounds, so there's a lot of muscle on them. So he really, uh, he's having a great season. Well, Elyria has a history of, uh, at that weight, of having really tough kids. I mean, you go back throughout the years, and these boys wrestle year-round. They're, they're conditioned, they're tough, and they're, they, they, again, they're, they're quality kids. I, yeah. You have to give them credit. No, I agree. They're just a great overall team performance. I, we obviously could have uh, talked about all of them, but they, you know, these two guys, they just wanted to kind of push out because they, they don't get quite the accolades of some of the other guys on the team, but they had great... Great performances this week. Uh, my third top performance, I'm going to cheat a little bit here. Uh, we're going to go with Peyton Bergdorf and Corey Newert tied for that third spot from Firelands. Uh, both wrestlers went 2-0 with two pins for the Falcons at the Division II uh, Dual Team Regional Tournament out at Brookside on Saturday. Uh, Bergdorf was at 132 pounds. He pinned Cleveland Central Catholic's Alfonso Churn in 29 seconds in the first round. Then he pinned Bay's Michael Kasunik in 245 in the quarterfinals. Uh, Newark, he was at 138 pounds, one class up. 
pinned Cleveland Central Catholics Nasir Maynard at 254, and then he pinned Bays Ashton Maisie at 315. So even though the Falcons didn't advance past the quarterfinals, these two guys went in there, got maximum bonus points for them, 12 points in two matches, um, two of the leaders on the team. Obviously, Peyton Bergdorf, we know about him. He's a three-time state placer, but it's just great to see these guys uh, kind of going in there and getting the extra matches and, uh, and coming out with big performances. Uh, Falcons have been an improving team, and uh, Mr. Bergdorf has been the kid's tough. Yeah, Again, yeah. He's been he is uh, he's been in the paper and well deserved for, for all everything he's done at that team. And I, I and now is he a senior this year? He's a senior. Yeah. Yes, he's a senior. How about Corey? Corey, I think uh, I'm not sure. He's either a junior or a senior. He's been he's okay. been there for a few years too. So I have to double check my uh, notes. I should have wrote that in there. I know. <laughs> no, next time it's all right. It's a, no, but I. But I think you have to give credit to Mr. Bergdorf, the, the Peyton. I've ne I actually, truthfully, have never seen him wrestle, but I follow him in the paper. You do a good job on keeping him. So it's just good to. That's why I like your your paper. It keeps up on everybody, right. and it's kind of cool. So um, hopefully they do really well. Where, where's he going to school? Did he say? Um, I'm not sure where he's going yet. Um, I, I think, uh, yeah, he. I don't think he's actually committed yet, but I, I think he's. Uh, yeah, he'll definitely be wrestling in college. I'll have to, Absolutely. Yeah, that's a good. I'll have to call him. You got. Yeah. You give me some good ideas. I got to get on my coverage here. <laughs> You know, somebody's <laughs> got to do it. Come on. All right. No. All right. Uh, so, again, our top three performances this week, Bryce Allison from Illyria, JoJo Norwood from Illyria, and Peyton Bergdorf and Corey Newark from Firelands, our top four performances. Okay. All right. So, we're moving on to uh, my favorite move, um, brought to you by Century 21 Deanna Realty. Um, this uh, week, we're having a, uh, somebody from a, a program you're pretty familiar with, Avon Lake. Uh, Avon Lake's Nathan Perry, a freshman with the team. He's going to show us the Crusher Cradle, is I believe what uh, the, the coach said, like uh, called this move. Uh, it's my favorite move. Uh, Avon Lake's Nathan Perry, again brought to you by Century 21, Deanna Realty. Okay. Hi, I'm Nathan Perry, and I'm a freshman from Avon Lake, and my favorite move is the Crusher Cradle. Basically, well first off, you want to get the ankle hooked back here, and then so next you want to get his head down onto the mat. And once you get it there, you want to bring your knee over and like keep it there. Then you want to pinch your legs, then you slide back a little bit and get the cradle. And then once you're here, you want to sweep the ankle and then get onto his back. You can do it just, you just circle until it's flat. So obviously, yeah, I mean, uh, the future's bright when you have a freshman who knows his stuff. I know he won his match out there in, uh, at Oregon Clay. I got to see him wrestle against a state-ranked kid from uh, Ashland in the first round. Um, and I know I've watched his brother wrestle for years. So uh, they have several solid uh, kids in that line, up and down in that lineup. So the future looks bright for him. I, like. I, I think it's going to get better and better. I think they're, um, they're on the upswing. And I... I really do hope they do better. I want them to win the Cobos Classic is what I want. Yes. I want to present the championship team trophy to the coach. That's what I want. Awesome. Uh, that's what I look forward to one of these days. All um, right. Well, again, uh, thank you to uh, the Avon Lake program and Nathan Perry. That was my favorite move. Brought to you by Century 21, Deanna Realty. All right, our next uh, segment, we're just going to be talking Lorain County Wrestling. I kind of wanted to keep this a little broad because I know um, you're not just a fan of Avon Lake. You're not just a fan of certain specific programs. You love wrestling pretty much all through the county, outside the county. You just like wrestling in general. So uh, let's kind of start, um, since Lorain County is kind of my beat and I know it very well, uh, some of the programs in the in the uh, county, obviously, Elyria uh, is probably the, they're nationally ranked, so we're going to say they're the top program for sure. But there's some great uh, programs in here. Um, just some of your favorite programs, uh, Avon Lake. Obviously, I know uh, you you run the Cobos Classic there, North Ridgeville. You went to school. What about some of the other ones? Well, actually, I will tell you the Amherst program. Mm -hmm. Amherst has a nice program. I follow them. Avon's top notch. Avon's got a quality program. 
Um, Avon Lake, again, it's my hometown. Right. Gotta love Avon Lake. Absolutely. And North Ridgeville, I grew up there. I, I really do follow them. I, I, um, I keep tabs on them. I'll go to the matches. I try to catch an Avon match here, an Amherst match. Uh, Vinny runs, Curry Alley's the coach. Mm -hmm. over there. I've known Vinny since he was in high school. Yeah. And he wrestled at the, at the, uh, at the Invitational at Avon Lake. Um, great guy. So, but it's, um, I really do like all the, the high school sports. I, but the wrestling, I was never a very good wrestler. I always, was always injured in football. And as a team, we were not very good at it. We were not very good then. We're probably better now. Um, so the individual sports, such as wrestling, was just the way where you didn't depend on anybody and it was just a pure sport. Even though I really have to say I didn't know anything about wrestling, I grew to love the sport. I just love the competitiveness. I think it teaches a kid discipline, teaches an individual just how to continue to do your hard work day in, day out. And um, I give credit to anybody that steps on the mat. One of the things that at our invitation at the Cobos, I am before that was called the Knights of Columbus, is the fact that we give out recognition to the top six wrestlers in a weight class. Usually, only the top three or four get credit. And I, I will tell you, um, some kids never, they'll work hard their entire life, entire school career, and never get a ribbon or a trophy. Right. And so I like it when a kid can get just recognition. I like the program that you do here. And it's one of the reasons I, I've always felt give everybody a chance to get their name in the paper, get their name on the air, and it, it's. I think it's. An, it'll boost their esteem. It'll make them feel better and make them work even harder. So, I mean, that's that's that's. A, so when I follow these teams, I kind of, I always look at them and go, "Wow, these." You have to give these kids credit. You have to do, and uh, you know, just give them really. They're tough. They're they're coming out every day. It's they'll, they don't have a lot of fan support sometimes other than their immediate family. Where football, the stands are filled in this roaring and wrestling. You either love it or you don't stick with it. Right, right. And then once you're in it, it's like a genetic defect. <laughs> it stays because then your kids will wrestle and your grandkids will wrestle. You never get away from it. No, <laughs> you never get away from it. It's awesome. It's awesome. What about some of the um, top individuals? You obviously follow all the teams, I think, but uh, any individuals? There's so many good characters in this, and obviously you already mentioned some of the uh, the guys from uh, Firelands and Lyria and uh, some from, from Avon Lake. Is there any other ones? There's obviously, you know, uh, um, uh, Buck Navich, the heavyweight at Midview. There's, uh, you know, some, some really uh, uh, big names out there in the county. Anybody that you kind of has kind of drawn your attention over the last few seasons? Um, I will tell you, you know who I really like, believe it or not, and at first, I, when I first saw him, I wasn't sure, and they said, you know, that heavyweight, Vow, uh, Vow, right? Vow, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, they said, I heard, you know, they said, he's really good. So I went to see him, I thought, oh, you know, is this kid for real, or is yeah. he, you know, is it just the competition? Oh, and when I saw him, I go, oh, man, this boy's for real. <laughs> this, this kid's got it all. He's strong. He's got great moves. He's got a great sense of balance. I loved him. I, was, I thought he was awesome. He was pretty impressive. Oh, he, he was great. He, he finished 3-1-2-1 one, one in his four years in, uh, at the state tournament. So he was a dominant individual. And the year that he finished runner-up, I think he had uh, blown out his knee in football or something like that. And he wrestled the whole year basically on one knee and still finished the state runner-up. I went to the state tournament, and when his, I couldn't wait. And his match came out, and there was this kid that was like a defensive uh, lineman, muscles on muscles. I thought, oh boy, here we go. And he hammered that kid, <laughs> just bang, it's <laughs> over. I was like, yeah, baby, this is, oh, it just it was awesome. I, I, I really, truthfully, I liked him. Um, I tell you, Eric Burnett's boys are tough. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it, it, Eric's got to be in seventh heaven. Just watching, it's one thing just to be a dad and watch your son wrestle, regardless, it's your son. But then have him be a, a superstar. You know, they're superstars, both of them. Yeah. It's, it's got to be a great feeling for Eric. Yeah, it I mean, is. It's got to be awesome. It, it seems like Mick won the state tournament last year. He's nationally ranked. And Nate this year, I've been kind of watching him. Um, he's kind of turned a corner this sophomore season. I think he, the last probably month, ever since that Brexville uh, holiday tournament, uh, is looking like he's on another level. And then on the other side of the state, you got... Uh, uh, Scotty's uh, young oh, one, yes, Gr Gray I, Burnett, who's yes. probably going to end up uh, being, you know, right along with these guys, uh, you know, multi-state champion, maybe uh, competing for national championships out in Fargo. Uh, another really great wrestler coming in the mix. It just seems like, you know, if you're a Burnett, if you have that Burnett name tacked to you, you better, you better uh, step up and, uh, I, you know, do something. Huh? They're so fast. I just love it. They're action. They don't give up. They're t 
they're hard nosed, and they and again they're just they're just like their dad. Yeah, they're just like their dad. I, like I said, we saw Eric win his fourth title, and it was awesome. I took the whole family down. I took everybody I could take when Eric won his title, and and down in St. John's Arena, and I'm very happy for Eric. Yeah, I'm, I'm very very happy for Eric. What about some of the uh, history in the county? Um, obviously, you've been around watching it, uh, you know, since your your days as a as a competitor. Um, you know, you got uh, the great uh, Lorraine tradition with the Turnus brothers down there. Uh, Leary has built up obviously over the last uh, couple of decades. Um, it's been it's got to be fun to kind of watch um, just the programs come up, go, you know, back and forth, stuff like that. I will tell you, I loved Tom and Dan Turnus. They had teams that were. Just phenomenal teams. They had, and I actually, I, I used to, when my son was young, I'd sneak him in with Pepe Ruiz up behind the bleachers so he could work out with their kids. And uh, and they go one, two, three, Saints at the end of the practice. And my son would go, Saints? What's that about? I go, Stop it, John. You're here. You're it's your be one of the boys. <laughs> and uh, and uh, we go to the watch him watch the varsity, and he had everybody from Juggy Franklin to oh my God, he had the Taylor boys. They had GT and Robert. You had. Um, um, so many other lightweight champions. You had, uh, uh, um, um, who was a, um, I'm trying to think. Uh, they had just, honestly, they had so many yeah. year in, year out. And I had to give them credit because they kept the discipline on the team. And actually, Lorraine misses that right now. Yeah. Really, truthfully, I, it was it was just awesome to watch to watch them. And then they had the sectionals there, and it, and it was just it was always good. So it wasn't just Illyria dominates the entire county right now. But then it was both Illyria and Lorraine. Right. So maybe it'll get back to that one of these days. It'll be good. I miss that hospitality room from the uh, Lorraine <laughs> sectional, the Southview sectional. They had the a legendary hospitality room. It was fantastic. So I don't, I don't hopefully know. that's what comes back first and foremost, <laughs> and you know everything else. No, they, they've just had some uh, fantastic times down there. So oh, you know, but he did. They've had they had a run of a uh, run of champions. Um, um, I'm trying to think who uh, the, uh, 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 what's his name. He pinned uh, he pinned Bubba Strauss in, uh, at St. John's Arena, and um, oh, I can see, uh, I can see him, and I can't think of his name. And he just, and Bubba was a stud. Bubba became a multiple state champion for St. Ed's, and I like Bubba. But Bubba came out, he was a young, I think he was a freshman or a sophomore, and this, the, the, uh, the, the kid from, um, um, from Turnus's team, it's over at the Saints there, and Safi came out, phew, single leg, brought him up, paid him, well, actually it was double leg, put him on his back, match over. It was incredible. It's, it, was, it was one of those things that I thought, wow. I used to be, I, I used to be in the army, and when I was in the army, I'd fly home to watch <laughs> the tournament, and then turn around and fly back. Wow! You know, I loved it, loved it, and it was just so much fun. But you asked me about individual wrestlers. It's there's been so many matches, and I will tell you, that I, like I said, I, you should have warned me ahead of time. I'd have had a list. <laughs> <laughs> I believe you, Sean. It's a, but it is. I, I'm all tongue-tied. I'm going like, ah. Uh. But there, yes, they know all the schools have had. There's so many schools that have had great kids. Uh, yeah. Look at look at this. Uh, the coach of Midby, he was a state champ, Sean Bristow. Yeah, Sean Bristow. Uh, Eddie Van Lake, yes, yeah. we saw Sean wrestle. Uh, they even like had two other boys. Um, 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 they were state champions. They were double A. Same time as Sean. We had. Um, there's guys all over that yeah. every year. Somebody, some individual steps up and just makes for a great season. Yeah. It is. That's what I like about the sport, that you know these guys work hard, some of them get rewarded as long as you're healthy. Uh, lots of factors go into it, but it's still, at the end of the day, they've learned, how to, they've learned discipline, hard work, and it carries them through their whole entire life. Right on. All right, uh, well, let's uh, move on to our final segment, and this is generally when uh, you know I talk with whoever comes on and joins me for the show, which is uh, you and I are going to have just a kind of an informal chat, and we just started off with the beginnings of uh, the the guests, uh, you know, involvement with uh, wrestling, and I know you you mentioned already that you competed at North Ridgeville. Uh, you were under the direction of uh, two uh, Hall of Fame uh, coaches in uh, Dick Bliss and John Bianchi. Um, both are uh, inducted into the Ohio Wrestling Hall of Fame. Um, obviously, uh, you already kind of said you might not have been like, uh, you know, the, the top competitor, but this sport left a, a lasting, you know, imprint on you, and, and I know it's, uh, in life, you've done uh, things Based, you know, off of what wrestling taught you. I, I will tell you, uh, Dick Bliss was my first coach, and um, 
I used to think of him as a really old guy, but he actually, he was quite young. <laughs> he ended up going to Aurora. And he's still around. He's in Florida. And Mr. J and John Bianchi, John was a great guy, too. He was uh, very tough. Uh, we just had a reunion in North Ridgeville several weeks back. And uh, um, for, with all the wrestlers, and Mrs. Bianchi, Dottie was there. As my, and my, the assistant coach, okay, uh, was there as well. We had uh, um, Rich Arenas. It, but these guys, all of them, were really nice. But they were tough on everybody. They, they, didn't take, they didn't take any smack from anybody. And they'd say, knock it off. And everybody listened. Everybody behaved. And it was, it was a really, really good, uh, well-run program. And I think that um, um, the current coach, okay, Mr. Uh, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, who's the coach? Ridgeville? Ridgeville? Yes. Uh, Joel Melvin? Yeah, Joel Melvin. Joel's doing the same thing. And Joel's going to bring it back. Um, so I, I, um, I really was lucky and very fortunate to have those two guys as coaches. My, um, I, in turn, had my son, John, wrestled. He ended up wrestling, and he, he started with West Shore with, uh, with uh, um, Eric Burnett's dad. And then he, because I couldn't drive him there every day, uh, he ended up going to St. Bernadette's because, he, because we had a neighbor that, that went there and took him there to the practice. And then from there, he ended up at St. Edward's. But um, John wrestled also with Carol, and my, I took my brother-in-law. I remember when Eric Burnett was little, and I would go to take him to matches. I would, I would see him. At, I would take my brother-in-law Jimmy to matches and see Eric there. I should say, with his dad, and uh, and so I, I really have been around for a long time. I, um, I, I really support all the wrestlers. My brother-in-law Jimmy wrestled. My brother Mike wrestled. Uh, my father-in-law was a wrestler, and uh, so I, I really enjoy the sport. I like it. Um, most of the, the teams in the area know they call me. I'll support, I'll support them. I'll buy an ad. I'll buy a ticket. I'll buy shirts. I'll help them um, however I can. And, and it's good. It's just good to promote the sport. And I tell you, Sean, you do a really nice job, too. You do a job that gives, it gives the whole Lorraine County a boost and, and, and as far as the wrestling. And not, not just right, but all the sports, but specifically wrestling, which is why I, I kind of like to keep it doing more things to keep thinking of new things to do and that's coming down the pike too well I was uh, gonna mention uh, you, you mentioned your brother and your son and all these uh, it's not just you obviously that's kind of got uh, wrestling's got its holds on um, you guys as a family you're you know just a big wrestling family your daughters all that were there at the Cobus insurance classic I mean you guys are all in when it comes to you know uh, the sport and helping out and you know running that Avon Lake wrestling tournament which is one of the best around. Um, it's got to be nice that you know it's not something like you know sometimes somebody will have something and you know the rest of the family is like you know go do your thing. Everybody, kind of, this is a family thing. Oh, it really is. In fact, um, we we've all, actually it's the family thing. We all support each other regardless of what it is. But when it comes to wrestling, because we've been involved with it so long, everybody supports the wrestler or whoever's competing. Whether it's my son, whether it's my brother-in-law Jimmy, whether it's my nephew. Uh, James, who's wrestling now over at St. Ed's, everybody is in on it, and it's it's just um, it's just the way we do it. Yeah. It's, it's all it's, it makes it nice. Well, obviously, uh, you know, you mentioned uh, John, your son, uh, three-time state qualifier at St. Ed, went on to wrestle at John Carroll. He's coached. Uh, he was uh, helping out at Avon Lake, uh, yes. uh, helping coach at John Carroll too. Yes. Um, yes. So obviously, he's definitely into it. Um, I obviously got to know him because I covered him at St. Edward, um, and like I said, he's probably one of the nicer guys uh, I ever dealt with uh, as far as the St. Edward uh, program. He always made time for me and stuff like that, so it's been really awesome kind of, uh, you know, okay. dealing with him, so. Thank you. I'll tell him. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, yeah, it's nice to see him. Every, uh, I said, uh, kind of missed him, uh, at, uh, you know, around the gym there at uh, yeah. with Avon Lake there, so it's good, it'd be good to see him again. But. Um, and then, obviously, I think, uh, you know, you obviously are known well for your support in, in volunteer work, which you've already kind of mentioned that you would do. And because of that, you were inducted into the uh, Lorraine County Wrestling Hall of Fame in 2014. How special was that night? Um, it, it seems like it's something that would be pretty pretty awesome. It was incredible. I will tell you truthfully, I, I was really um, caught off guard by it because I, I'll tell you the truth. I didn't think I deserved it, number one. There's so many, like I said, there's so many quality coaches and people that have really done tremendous for the kids and I was really caught off guard and um, it was awesome. 
It was just really nice. I, I, in fact, we have it on the wall right by my TV. I see it constantly, and everybody goes, "What'd you do for that?" And I go, "I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know." But they say they must have had an off year. I don't know. But it was it was very humbling, and, and I, I tell you truthfully, it was awesome. I really did appreciate it. Awesome. Well, I, again, I appreciate you coming on here. Um, appreciate everything you do for the sport. Um, so that's pretty much it for okay. this uh, this you, week's Sean. episode. Thank you, Sean. And if it brings your ratings down, I apologize no, no. right now. <laughs> I apologize right now. But I, I will still continue to support wrestling because it's a great sport and I love it. And I know you do too. Yes, I do. Absolutely. So again, uh, this, that brings uh, this week's episode of the Matt Report to a close. We again want to thank our sponsors. Cobus Insurance Center, uh, Century 21 Deanna Realty, and uh, thank Bruce Bishop behind the camera. And of course, the greatest thanks go out to you, the viewer. Uh, we'll see you next week. Thank you. <laughs>